Joining us now live on set is seven-time Riverbank Run champion and the last American to win the Boston Marathon, Greg Meyer. So well, thank you so much for coming in and joining us here this today. Is nice. <laughs> hey, thank yeah, I know. you. Yeah, we're, we're trying to make you do it up here for the race. <laughs> well, you've done it well. <laughs> hey, we have a number of questions for you. Obviously, you've run this race a lot, uh, all sorts of times. You've won this race. You've run the Boston Marathon. Um, one of the big runners here, one of the big stories, is the last year's winner, Robert Letting, is missing. He's MIA. He is. Um, and. Your first reaction is, you know, you're angry at him. So, yeah. You know, you were supposed to be here. You committed, but he didn't show up for a race last week out in Washington. And his agent called and said, "I have no idea where he's at. He's mm -hmm. not returning phone calls." Um, some of the other Kenyans indicated that they heard a rumor that he was going to Brazil with somebody else. So we don't know. You know, we just don't know. We hope he's fine, um, but he's certainly not here. He's certainly not here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So there's not any kind of real concern there, it's just that he may have just gone off to race somewhere else. Usually if something like that happened to an athlete, word would get out quickly to, because it, 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 word would get out that yeah. there was an, an auto action and so, because right. it's happened before, you know, where some, you know, a good athlete in Kenya has been hurt and, you know, word gets out. So our guess is he just decided to go another route, and, you know, it's, um, it, it, it's frustrating for us and it's frustrating for his agent, I'm sure, but you know, it's just, yeah. life happens. Greg, you were in Boston this year. You were running with uh, some of your family members. All, well, both of my boys are with me, and okay. my daughter was actually working Volunteering. the finish line. Yeah. So, yeah, it was an interesting day. Yeah, let's talk about that for a second, though, because we're now several weeks out from that when it happened here. What, what's going through your mind today? How are you feeling now after this? Um, still overwhelmed by the things, the what ifs could have happened okay. because all of your family's in one spot. But the thing that really impresses me now is the good that happens after evil. Yeah. And you know what? Even here, we have 200 more volunteers this year than we had last year. Right. Mm -hmm. People rise to the equation. They go, we're not going to stop for something like that. Um, the way people responded in Boston was incredible. So you, you come away going, yeah, bad things happen, but people step up and make it, you know, take care of it. it. It's impressive. Yeah. It's a testament to the human spirit, isn't it? Absolutely. It is, yeah. Absolutely. You know, and it's just, and it's what running's about, you know. It's running's about not just people running for their own time, but people help each other all along the course. Uh -huh. And, you know, it's, we have a special sport. Um, it's, that's why you get 20,000 people out here this morning. You know, it's a beautiful thing. Yeah, and the good continues today here in Grand Rapids, the largest race of its type since Boston. Mm -hmm. And so um, we're not letting that hold us back, and we're continuing no, on. No, obviously, yeah. No, you guys are here. That's right. <laughs> it's a beautiful thing. No, well, so are you, and we're starting to see some larger crowds showing up here, too. Runners are coming in, and I think it's really kind of interesting you make that point. This is an individual race in some respects, but it's a group effort to make it happen. It is. When you get up on a Saturday morning around Grand Rapids, there are pockets of runners that gather to train together all year long. When the gun goes off, people will make friends with somebody else that's running their pace, and they will help each other the whole way. It's, it's just what runners do. Uh, mm -hmm. it, it really is a, it's a sport about friendship. You know, that, that whole thing, loneliness of the long distance runner, not true at no. all anymore. Wow. Awesome. Greg right, Meyer, thank, thank you. you for joining us this morning. Thanks for being here.